So anyways, I just wanted to come on here and ramble, talk a little bit. Anyways, so anyways, what I really came on here to talk about is, isn't it funny how miserable people is always trying to steal somebody else's jewelry? How miserable people cannot, they can't stand seeing somebody who have, who is happy, just be happy. They try to destroy them at all costs. And it's so funny that people is like that. Like, just because you're miserable and you choose to be miserable, and for a lot of people, I think they don't even know how to be no other kind of way but misery that they try to cause everybody to be on the same platform as them. I can't help it that you're miserable, you know? I cannot help it that you choose to wake up every morning seeing all the defaults about life. I can't help it. I can't help it that you wake up in the morning and you don't see all the beauty that this life has to offer. I can't help it. It's not my problem. It's not my problem. That's your problem. And I used to be the type of person that be trying to fix people problems and listen to it. You know what? You can't even. I learned since COVID happened, since the pandemic, you can't listen to everybody and you sure can't fix everybody. You can't listen to everybody because guess what? You'll start acting just like those people. You'll start acting like miserable people because after so much of it being fed inside of you about what they thought and how they think and you start acting just like them crazy people. So I made it up in my mind a while back that for too many people, you got too many issues, I can't listen to you. I am not that person. I am so sorry. I see why now people say therapists need therapists. Because they need somebody to talk to too after all the stuff that they have to listen to. And it's crazy. It is so crazy that miserable people love to tear everybody else down. It's crazy that you can tell people good morning and they will frown at you like if they just didn't wake up this morning, like if it wasn't something good in that. Or that you could wake up and you're healthy and, you know, people is so miserable. One girl, I asked her, why do she think that people are so miserable? She told me she thinks them COVID shots made a lot of people guilty, have anxiety and everything else. I don't know. I wasn't one of those people who got that COVID shot. Sorry. I don't know. But anyways, I don't know. It's just a lot of miserable people out here. And it's so sad. It's so sad. I walk in. I be like, good morning. How you doing? You know, people walk by you like they don't see you. Just rude. Rude for no reason. Just rude. I think we all should wake up with a smile on our face. I mean, be thankful that you woke up. Be thankful that your kids is healthy. Be thankful that you got a roof over your head. I mean, I understand times is hard right now. You know, with all the, the pandemic and inflation and everything that's going on. Because there's a lot going on in the world. Don't get me wrong. People that lost their minds. So I know there's a lot going on in the world. But sometimes we have to sit that on the side sometime. 
and just think about the goodness that the day, you know, bring us. Sometimes we just have to look at the good. We don't always have to see negative in everything. That is something we don't have to do. We don't always have to see negative. Everything is not negative. We have a lot positive going on for us. Even with there being so much going on. And believe me, I understand because, you know, inflation is hitting me hard. But I still choose to wake up every day with a smile on my face. I still choose to wake up every morning and, and know that I am blessed to be alive. I am blessed to see my kids happy. I am blessed to make sure that they have a roof over their head. Believe me, I am blessed a lot. Even though I don't have everything I want, but I'm still blessed. At the end of the day, I am still blessed. There's, there's no reason for me to be miserable. And believe me, everything I don't have, I'll get it. You know, pray about it. Pray about it and manifest it. It too shall come. Believe me. It too shall come. We don't always need to be miserable just because we see other people miserable. And just because we having a bad day, we don't need to bring our bad day off on everybody else. That you don't need to do. You don't need to, just because you woke up, you know, not happy about whatever may have happened may have had happened we don't need to bring our frustrations out on everybody else so anyways like I always say don't allow somebody miserable to take your joy away from you do not allow it because people do not like seeing people happy and it's sad that it's like that, but it's so true that it is. It is so true that it is. It's too much going on in the world for everybody to be unhappy. There's a lot of good things happening, and don't get me wrong, there's a lot of bad things happening, but we cannot allow everything that's going on in the world take our joy from us. Our joy is important. You know, so anyways, I'm gonna say it one more time. Don't allow miserable people take your joy away from you. Wake up in the morning with a smile on your face. Know that you can do it, you can make it. And like I always say, make sure you like and subscribe this video. Please subscribe this video. I'll be begging y'all. Come on now, please. <laughs> Anyways, like, subscribe, and comment. And like I always say,